in a distant land, far, far away, a battle of good and evil has been waged for many a millennia in the nation of Next Top Model. Many battles have raged. Both sides have suffered great loss, yet neither side was willing to back down. When one competition came to pass that would top them all and hopefully put an end to the seemingly endless war, that battle was the hardest, toughest, most intense battle yet. That battle was Candy Apple's next top model. models, viewers, and contestants to Candy Apple's next top model. This week we have a fabulous panel of judges again. We have Jassy from Total Misfits, we have Justin from Abduction Productions, we have Alex from Bromtom Cocktail, and we have me, Ash Stone. Um, as you can see, Anna's not with us. Um, as you know from last week's trivia question, she is out for Christmas break. So we have Katie from Amityville. She was also in Cycle 1. Kenny Apple's Next Top Model. She was also your guest judge for week one. She's back this week to uh, to take over Anna's place till she gets back. Um, and your special guest judge this week is actually who gave you the challenge. She's a really good friend of mine. She's actually the winner from Cycle One. That would be Lore. So when I handed out your challenge, when I handed out your assignment this week, which your assignment this week was a good versus evil. Um, half of you got good or half of you got evil, and you had to take a photo, your uh, your prerequisites were you had to be a full body photo, you had to look like you are about to attack, and you had to kind of be angled to one side or the other so that you could be edited together looking like you are about to attack each other. So let's see how you all did this week. Um, also, we're, we're going to judge each of you individually, and then we'll show you the photo that Justin edited of all of you together battling. Um, and on top of that, I also want to mention that you all had to do the challenge this week, um, and I'll mention who the winner of the challenge is later on. Um, I was really impressed with a lot of your entries this week, um, but I was a little disappointed. I really stressed that I wanted you all to get the assignment in on time, but you all didn't jump on that chance. I said that if you got the video, if you got your assignment in before the weekend you were guaranteed a spot in the next episode and only two of you really seem to jump at that chance so but i'll get to that all right let's start the chat Alright, so the models this week, you all had the assignment of you were given good or evil and you were told to take a photo as if you were good and as if you were evil. Um, so you also had some special qualifications which were actually part uh, half of your grade this week, half of your rating grade um, was taken from that. So first of all, you had to be good or evil, so you had to obviously show a side. Second, you had to create a name for your character. Then you also had to pose as if you were attacking or about to attack. And you had to be angled to one side or the other. So that's four things. And last but definitely not least, <laughs> you were told to make sure that your backgrounds were easy to edit. It may sound really simple, and the viewers who didn't do the assignment are probably thinking, oh my gosh, there's so much I could have done with that. I left it really open, and yet I narrowed the things that had to be narrowed down, narrowed them down, so that you all wouldn't have quite as many conflicts. So I really wanted you to show your creativity 
with your super villains or superheroes this week. And I'm pleased to tell you that most of you rose to the occasion. Also, I really stressed in the assignment video that I did not want any late assignments. I'm really pleased with three of the three of you that turned your assignment in early. Um, I got them Friday when I assigned them Tuesday. So good job. Um, that would be a special congratulations to Heather, Kayla Vanity, and Emily. Emily actually turned the photo in the day it was assigned. So congratulations. Um, with that being said, the rest of you, you'll, you'll see what your punishment is in a little bit. Let's start this week with the first person I actually got their photo of, which would be Emily, also known as Princess Twilight. Uh, Emily, I'm in love with this photo. I was blown away, and since you were the first person to turn your photo in, you really set the standard for what I wanted everyone else to show me. So, um, I love your outfit, I love your pose, I love everything. You're angled, you're perfect. Justin really had fun editing yours. He definitely said it was one of the most fun to edit. So next up was the next person to turn in their assignment, which was Heather. Heather, I'm not gonna lie, I really can't pronounce your villain's name. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but Heather, I, I really like what you went for here. I wish you had angled your body like I asked, but the fact that you had a white background, um, I think Justin actually edited you out, <laughs> but um, but he said you, he didn't complain, so that obviously means you were pretty easy to edit. Um, the only issue we had was with your expression, which everyone else did not seem to like it. They thought it was weird. All right, so next up, Kayla Vanity. Um, Kayla, I'm pretty sure you were the kitty cat killer or the kitty killer. Um, she really wanted to do something that was like the black cat. Um, so, kills men and she throws them in the lake. She can't get too close to the lake because she's a cat. Hello! <laughs> but um, she's definitely the only one who sent me a story this week. So, Kayla, I was really impressed with that. Um, but when you turned in your photo, you told me that you weren't sure about the background. So, that really lets me know that you didn't rewatch the assignment. Um, and that's. It's a big no-no. Um, if you have any questions, ask me before you take the photo. And also, re-watch the assignment because you're not angled to the side. Your background was so-so to edit. And you look like you're plotting to attack, but you don't look like you're physically about to attack. So, all of that taken into consideration. Uh, but I do, I mean, I love the pose and I love the idea. So, next up was the next person to turn in their photo. And that was Caitlin. Um, Caitlin, I was pleasantly surprised to see your photo. Um, I don't know if you saw my secrets, my secret video that I did um, giving advice on how to take this photo. Um, obviously, the first three didn't get to see that, so they'll obviously be a little, go a little easier on them. So I don't know if you actually got to see that or not, but um, I also wanted to let you know that I enjoyed your interview. And I enjoy your character, which is named the Black Widow, and your pose is sick, like amazing. Um, and you were definitely one of the few who made sure that every part of their body was in the photo. And although, although I edited your background a little bit before I posted it, just because the sheet didn't quite go all the way, um, you definitely, definitely shocked me this week. Um, you really stepped it up. I next. Turner Emmy <laughs> was Amina. Amina, let's look at your photo. Amina, um, you sent me about 11 photos, which, which I do appreciate when models turn in more than one photo because it gives me a great variety to look at and it usually ups your chances of find, getting a good photo. Um, Amina, you really sell, Amina, you really sell emotions with your face, but this is one time when I think all of your facials and all of the photos you sent me could have been a little stronger. I feel the emotion you were going for, but I don't feel like you're about to attack. I feel like you're maybe blocking an attack, and the attack is from butterflies. Um, I do like your choice in weapon. It's very original, and I love your outfit, and I love your creativity. But every single photo you sent me, not only are you not angled to the side, but you were super hard to cut out. Um, when Justin did the massive edit, 
he had to recreate just about all of your body parts with cloning and that's really not acceptable. Um, your characters that you create, and which this is uh, Mighty Maya, the characters you create are quite powerful. You just need to get the technical stuff down. Um, next up was of course Amanda. Amanda is purple fury. Um, Amanda, personally, I don't like your attire in this photo. Um, I mean, I like the sword, I like the scarf with the sword, and I like the shirt. But as for the rest of the outfit, it kind of looks like you got home from work, you put on a pair of heels, popped on a hat, grabbed a sword, and jumped on a bed. Um, with that being said, I do, however, love your character. Um, I just, I don't, a lot of us were really confused by the expression. We don't understand why you were so happy. Also, we do like that you were actually one of the few people that Justin could edit into the sky because you were jumping. So, get major props for that. You're angled to the side and you look like you're about to attack. Just the facial, I guess, is what throws it off for me. The facial and the outfit. Alright, so the next person to turn in their assignment was, was Angie. So, let's look at Angie's photo. I tried to clean the background on yours, but I ended up messing up the, um, the quality of the photo, so I just left the original. I, I like the sheet that you were going for, and I love that you did an outside-of-the-box pose. This is definitely your best yet. You massively have improved from the last two weeks. But there were a couple critiques that the judges gave that I have to agree with. That being said, I, we don't understand why you have skulls on, so many skulls. If you're a good, a good guy, you kind of look like you came off as you were evil instead of good. Also, I think you could have cropped the photo a little bit, but, you know, it's okay. The photo got edited. Um, Justin actually didn't complain about editing your photo. So, so, apparently it was easy to edit. Your angles to the side, you look like you're about to attack. It was definitely a stronger photo than you have the last two weeks. And definitely last was Hunter. She had some technical difficulties and had to turn in her photo late, um, which, in retrospect, Hunter, this is the first time Hunter's ever turned in a photo late. Um, anyway, Hunter is, of course, um, evil. She is the hairdresser from hell. And I like the character that you created, and I like your pose. It's actually really outside the box. A lot of the judges didn't really like the pose, but I actually like it. Um, I, I think it's definitely one of your more model-esque photos. Uh, with that being said, though, your location, not the greatest. It was actually pretty simple to edit. But at that same point, it just makes for a really awkward looking photo if I hadn't edited it. Also, I knew that you had a hard time getting a prop or being able to use props. So I like that you got scissors and a straightener, which kind of come out like you look like Edward Scissorhands, which I enjoy. The one thing about your photo that throws me off and makes me so angry is the socks. You, everybody on, actually everyone, someone pointed out to me, on the evil side ended up wearing black and then there's your white socks and they kind of bug the heck out of me. Like they throw the whole photo off for me. So, you know, if you continue to stay in this competition, you need to make sure that your priorities are straight and you have the best photo possible as soon as possible. And you have to make sure that you start with the shoes, shoes, and then worry about the rest of the outfit. When we come back from deliberation, we'll see who continues on in the hopes of becoming Candy Apple's next top model.